Well, your Instagram feed soon might look a whole lot different. This week, Instagram is testing out making likes private. That's right, private likes. You'll still be able to see the number of likes on your own post, but not other people's. The goal is to cut down on the feel of unnecessary competition based on how many likes you get. This is something we've been talking about for a while now. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joins us tonight to show us the changes. Instagram now boasting an eye-popping billion active users a month. But like it or not, change is coming to the social media giant. This week, all those likes will start disappearing for some users. Instagram changing its model so that the user can see their own likes, but their followers won't know the count. There's no pressure for you to get the likes. Yeah. So you can just post it for the fun of posting it. If I don't have likes, it's hard for me to tell what the reaction is. The change sure to leave some social media influencers broken hearted. There is a group of people who make their livelihood off of Instagram. They use this to demonstrate their value, to sell to brands. And so that's a group of people who maybe have a little bit more hesitance around this kind of a change. But many hoping the lack of likes will be a good thing after much ado over the negative side of social media and its effects on young people. Technology industry has harnessed the power of this reward system in the brain to create a good feeling every time you check your phone. So for many of us, as soon as that video posts, we wait for it. That little validation right there that you like me. Psychologists say it's addictive. It can cause stress and anxiety. I think that we at, on social media, who work in social media, I'm sure um, have a part to play in the anxiety and the pressure that people, particularly young people, feel. The company CEO hoping the change will help people post for themselves instead of doing it for the gram. Social media is a great amplifier in a lot of ways. And it's our responsibility to do what we can to amplify the good and mitigate the bad. In Charlotte, Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.